Hey, what's up everybody? This is Autobot Gamer coming back at you with another video review. Now, today we are looking at one of the couple special figures that I have. That's a, that's, that's a slash comparison. That's for later. Stay out of the frame. Um, this is special because it's one of the only couple um, leader class figures that I have. This is Combiner Wars Megatron. He's very silver for a tank. Um, looks like he hadn't been painted. Or the, 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 I can't speak. Looks like he hasn't been painted at this point. But he does. Uh, he does look good. And this is actually a really good design that I'm. I'm actually kind of curious on why they decided to do this, but it can make sense if you look at transformation. He has a tread in the front, a tread in the back, on both sides. So if you think about it, if he's going this way, and he's in, a, and this is like an actual tank in a war, and they blow out this front tread, if the tank does this, comes back down, all they have to do is flip the turret around and put it in reverse and keep going, because these back treads will still work. And I guess. That you guys can off can obviously tell that the barrel or like the turret does a 360 on a nice heavy ratchet joint. That's great. Now these two little guns up top, they are removable. They're just just a couple little uh, it's like a little machine gun type thing. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I think it's supposed to be some kind of a missile launcher. Due to the fact that it's Combiner Wars, there's a little tab and a little slot, you plug them together, and now you have this, whatever that's supposed to do. Personally, though, if I plug them together, I actually plug them together like this. That way there's not two handles. That just, just because of where they're positioned, it looks weird. But most of the time, I keep them apart uh, for tank mode, and I just... Plug them in like that, and I mean, since they're just pegged in, they can swivel about too, so you can have him aiming this way, aiming over there, launching missiles back here, something like that. Um, he does have a firing missile. I mean, it does actually shoot pretty far. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't fly away. And let's get... A little bit of a close-up on some of these details. Um, you will see that he has mini ports here. Uh, that's for his Armada counterpart. Because he was also painted into Armada Megatron. As you can see there. Nice Decepticon symbol. All this nice tech detailing. All of this silver is paint. He does have uh, ceramic blast shields on the side. I think that's what they are. See, they're on the side of the turret as well. And these just kind of come back here. He's got some vents up top. And then if you look on the top, he's got some stuff. And he has a little hatch right there in the back. And it's just kind of robot junk in the back, but still. Looks really nice. You can see it's got a little upward slant to it. Now, this is kind of how a tank is supposed to be because as it's rolling, and he does have rolling rubber treads on there too, which is nice. But as it rolls, it wants to have a slope up front so that way it can climb up the obstacle. Because if it's just flat, it's just going to run straight into it. It's not going to, it's not going to climb up. It's not going to pop up on those things like that so makes total sense um, real quick for size comparisons we'll go ahead and bear them with a Voyager Sentinel Prime my little buddy Blackjack and Blizzard Attack Drift from R.I.D.
So that's it for that. Um, we'll go ahead and do get in the transformation here real quick. We'll pull the guns off. Just kind of plug them together, set them off to the side. And I start by taking these sections and then bringing them down to that. And then you just kind of fold them back on this double hinge section uh, right there. You just boop, bring them all the way back. Then they just kind of peg together like that. And kind of raise the camera up here a little bit. Um, to take the barrel, pop that kind of down so it's short. So just boom. Um, come around here to the back. Untap this black section, kind of bring that up. Pop these sections out of the sides. Fold them around. And then fold out his feet. Stand him up. And then take this whole turret section, split it in half, fold up waist piece, and raise the camera up a little more. Take this whole section, bring that down, orient the head, bring up the arm, take the cannon, flip it around, bring it to the front, flip up with that section. Bring that back out. Kind of orient that a little bit. And there you have Megatron. And he is a big boy. So here we have him with Sentinel Prime. My dude, Blackjack. And Drift. He's just kind of off here to the side. So, see, he's he's good size. He is a good size. Oh. Defensor. With, with him. So, that's about how big he is. I think you guys get the picture. Oh, great. That messed up my camera. So, let's go ahead and get a nice close up on that head sculpt. If I can. You can see it's just a very G1 style Megatron. It's got some nice uh, red light piping. Not sure if you guys be able to see that at all. I mean, it looks nice if there's a light. And yeah, give me one second. See if I can find a light. I found a light. There we go. Please pardon my abrupt jump cut. I had to go uh, get supper anyway. So yeah, that's basically him, robot mode. And you see, he his backpack is it's it sticks out pretty far, but it's not like a big issue since it's pretty thin. And if you want to, you can always split it apart. And there you go. It's not really that big. It's not really that noticeable either. So um. Yeah, we'll real quick go through his articulation. Um, head can look up and down, and it can go side to side. Arms can do 360s. It can move out, although I would try to advise caution because they're on this kind of a hinge and it looks weird. Um, he has a bicep swivel. Elbows get about 90 degrees, I would say. And I mean, the gun can pivot around while it's on that swivel. So, and then he does have a wrist rotation. Um, you'll want to move the backpack up, but he does have a waist rotation as well. If you move these side panels out of the way, you can get his hips all the way up. You go forward. That's that far. So and then they go back all the way. Knee bend about a 45 degree, and then the feet can angle like that. 
just kind of be wary though because it takes like his full shin piece with him. So, um, I do tend to display mine holding uh, the combined assault rifle thing like that. So And the missile still fires in this mode. Um, there you go. Yeah, still fires just fine. Or you can extend the entire cannon out. Um, since this is also the Armada version, this is also in Armada mold. If you want to give him like a waist cannon like that, you can do that. If you have the Armada version, just a little hack for you do that but you know yeah it's a it's a basic figure but you know is it worth the $45 that he retails for and that I paid for it um I wouldn't say so no if it was a Voyager class for deluxe yeah yeah definitely it's great but for a leader class, uh, it's not that great, but it does look fantastic. If you're not, if you're just one of the people like me that doesn't really like mess with their figures, but you just put them on shelf display, yeah. But if you're one of the people that like to mess with it and stuff, and you're always playing with it, just you know having fun with it, moving the arms around, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do forty-five bucks for it. But, you know, for display purposes, it's great. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. And if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like and comment down below who you would like me to review next. I will try to if I have them. If not, I will let you know. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting that big red button. And after you click that, it will turn gray. But then there will also be a bell icon that appears next to that. Hit that for notifications on whenever I upload a video. So that way you can stay notified about everything that I do. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. I missed.